Hi, my name is Dandy Reiner. I'm from Hatchfinder's Fly Shop in Livingston, Montana. Today I'm going to tie for you a rusty spinner. I'm tying this in a size 14, uh, but they're typically tied in a 16 or 18. So I'm going to start with a thread base. I'm using a brown 6 aught. Start a little bit behind the eye, and I run it down to about hook point. Trim off my little tag end there. Next step, I'm going to tie in my monofilament. Now I'm going to tie in my monofilament. This will help reinforce the fly, keep it sturdy. I'm going to use micro fibbits for the tail. These are white colored. Uh, they're basically a uh, mayfly tail. I need two fibbits for the tail. I'll snip them off here. And you want the tail to be about the same size as the hook shank. Tie it in at the hook point, and then I run my thread back down to right before the eye. I'll run my thread back down to hook point, trim off my little excess there, and I want to split this tail. So I want to bring my thread up between these two little fibbits to kind of fork it. Okay, and keep good tension on my thread. Now I'm going to tie in my biot, and I like to use Turkey Biot Quill from Nature's Spirit. I'm using the rusty color. I like to use Nature's Spirit because you seem to get a lot of good biot quills from one package. And I also soak the biot because it makes it more pliable and easier to work with. I want a smooth body on this rusty spinner. So I'm going to tie this biot in tip first and I want the clear side of the biot to face away from me and the rust or the the um, the seam to come towards me. Run my thread to right behind the eye. I take my hackle pliers and I turn that biot to the right. So now the clear side is on the left and the thick seam side is on my right. And then I just start my wraps. And I make sure to cover up that thick seam there with my biot to give it that smooth body. And I run it up to where I left off with my thread and I tie it off. Keep my wraps pretty firm, trim off the excess here. And I reinforce it with my monofilament. And I want to wrap the monofilament in the opposite direction of which I tied my biot. And I count my wraps as I go. Two, three, four, five. Five wraps and make sure that they're even. I just want to cut off my monofilament. And the next step is the wing. And I'm using a CDC Natural Done from Trout Hunters. It's a really good CDC and uh, it makes a beautiful wing. So I take one of my little feathers and I strip the fibbits off one side. I gather them in one hand and I pull with the other. Pull those fibbits right off the stem. And I lay it right on top of where the thorax should be. And I make a wrap to cinch them in. And then I tie it spinner style. And for that you want to come in a section, uh, a figure eight. So come around each side of the wing in a figure eight and it splits them out 
nice and even. Keep your thread taut. And for the thorax, I use a super fine dubbing in brown. Makes a very nice thorax and head. And just a little piece is all you need. And again, in the figure eight style, we come in between the wings, across and down, making a th good thorax. And then in front of the wing, behind the eye, we make a couple of small wraps. Careful not to get too close to the eye. Pull that wing back if you need to. And then we want to end up with our thread right behind the eye. And it's at this point I go ahead, take my whip finisher, and tie it off with a few good knots. And to trim up my wings, I pull all the CDC up top with my fingers. I pinch it off and I give it, I give it one good snip to trim it up to make it even on both sides. And I take just a little off each time to where I get it, to where I want it. This doesn't have a very long wing. And with each fly I tie using CDC, I use a little drop of watershed. It's a liquid fly dressing. I put just a little bit on my finger and then I smear it into the CDC wing. A little drop of head cement and there is my rusty spinner.